Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be giving you a review, it's upside down, of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. I've heard great things about this palette, but I have also heard some people say not so great things about it. Overall, I'm really glad I bought it. I'll kind of talk to you more about it as I go through, but I think it's a good product and I think it's a fair price. I think it will last a long time and I'm definitely going to buy the medium one next because I think that would work with my skin tone, some of the shades as well, and especially in the summer when I'm darker. Um, I will say that I had to use an oil. I talk about that a little bit in the video, so you might want to have um, an oil. I use the Marajuka Tar Oil, um, but the Farsili Gold one that everyone is obsessed with, that would probably work great too. So yeah, I think it's worth the money and I think that you should definitely buy it and I'm going to tell you why in this video, so stay tuned. So I started by putting on primer and foundation and then I did actually conceal my under eyes because I know a lot of times with these contour kits they're more just to contour and not really for concealer and I do like having concealer on my under eye. So for starters I am going to go in even though these shades fair and neutral are beautiful by the way this is the light palette um even though these shades are absolutely beautiful I'm gonna do the banana power just because I'm trying to get into banana powers more because I know that they're good for my shade and I do have a few that I use so I'm going to try it with the cream and see what I think so I'm going to start just like I do with my concealer kind of making a triangle with that banana shade under my eye and this is actually thicker than I thought it would be so maybe I'm wrong maybe I could have actually used it for a concealer after all and then doing the same on the other side just filling it in and this is going to lighten up the under eye area make the eyes a lot brighter and just make sure that the other parts that you contour kind of stand out a little bit more. So I do like the texture, but it's a little thick. So I just added some Marajuka oil from Tarte. And I'm also, now it's like maybe a little too liquidy. I might have added too much. But I'm just going to put it down the center of my nose. So I can kind of brighten up that area as well. This will also kind of help so you don't have to add oils when you're blending because a lot of times with contour kits, you want to um, add oils in with your blending or when you're really blending anything, I add oils in a lot um, just because it just helps blend better and putting so much product on your face definitely can make it dry and when it's dry, it creases. So adding in the oils will stop that from happening. I'm also going to put some up on my cupid's bow. And then lastly, I'm going to go down below where I'll be contouring. You don't have to do this, especially if you're going to be baking, but I kind of want to just really try this product out. And I do like this banana color. It is not nearly as banana-y, which is like that yellow hue as some of the powders are, for example. This is a banana powder from Sephora. I'm like, you can see the difference. And I believe her, um, I've never tried it, but I believe her banana powder, I mean, like you can see the difference in it. Um, I believe her banana powder in the shade Light Kid. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I definitely want to try that too because that's like her dry contour palette, like her, um, you know, her the one with all the powders and the bronzers and stuff. And I believe that one is very similar to this too. And I really like that it is not yellowy. Now she has a lot of shades, but I will say, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. This one is the Havana. This one is the Light Sculpt, and this is the Java. These ones seem a little dark for me for a light palette, but maybe they just blend out so well. Um, but because they are so dark, again, I'm going to add some oils, and I think actually maybe I'm just going to be on the safe side and do the Light Sculpt. But in the medium palette, they have a color correcting one, and I really wanted that palette, but I didn't get it because I felt like the darks would be way too dark. But now looking at this one, I totally could have gotten that one, so I might have to purchase that one and try that one out for you. So 
going in with that light sculpt shade, I'm going to start at my ear and kind of contour right above that line. You can even do some of this up here. And then on this side, I did put beauty oil in this one again, but I only put one drop so you can see. It's working much better. And I really like the consistency of it. You see how it blends though. And then on my forehead, I'm just gonna make a few little lines. We can always add more in later, especially if we set it to powder. And of course, I'm gonna go down my nose. As you guys know, I love to contour my nose. And below my lip. I like using this plain concealer brush, it works really well. And lastly, down here, right along the jawline, to kind of get rid of everything that's below there, basically. So now I'm just going to start blending. I'm going to start with the under eye, because that is the first area I applied. And I like to start with the light colors first, too, so the dark doesn't mix in with it and look all crazy. And it's definitely blending out better than I thought I would. Remember this part I didn't really add much oil to. It was a little bit thicker, but it's still blending out well. I would probably add oil right now. But luckily, in these spots, like as you can see, they're blending out so well because I went ahead and already added the oil. I'm just going to be kind of careful when I blend this down here. Maybe even use a smaller beauty blender just because it is in between. Speaking of beauty blenders, I just purchased the Real Techniques one because I kept losing these and they're so expensive. And honestly, I like it. It's not as soft as this one, but I, I kind of like the shape of this one better. It's just oops, kind of easier. Um, for different areas of the face. Finish blending, blending, blending. Now I'm going to go through with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just blend out. And I do believe that it is important to set both the dark contour and the light contour. So using the Physician, Physicians Butter Bronzer, I'm going to go in and just set some of the areas, not all of them, but cream contours can definitely slide around your face. I don't know that this one is going to, but just in case, I'm going to set it with a little bit of bronzer just to kind of make sure that everything stays right where it's supposed to be. So I definitely plan on doing like a more of a tutorial on how I use this little brush that comes with the bronzer. I've never seen any YouTubers use it. I think it works awesome. I used it uh, yesterday and I loved it. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that soon because this is a great bronzer and it's drugstore. So it's like 13 bucks. Now I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder, the translucent powder. It's only $12 and people have been raving about it, but they all hate the packaging. And I can see why, because I just got it all over myself. But I'm going to go ahead and bake with this. I wouldn't normally show you this step because you've seen me bake a million times, but it is a new product that I'm using, so I wanted to share it with you. Yeah, the packaging is just like absolutely horrible, so I see what people are saying, so I need to find something new immediately, but I like the texture of it so far, the consistency, and it's a lot like the Laura Mercier, but apparently it's better for dry skin. The Laura Mercier is great when I'm oily, but when I'm a little more dry, it's just a pain. I find that it creases up on me, <coughs> excuse me. A little bit and it's just it's better for oily skin because it the oily skin I think kind of sucks it in but this stuff is supposedly for dry so we will see I'm gonna let that sit for a little and then I'm just gonna do a little bit more down here kind of define that line we created earlier and go over the light cream contour that we did earlier I'm also gonna do up here but I'm not necessarily gonna bake up here I'm just going to set it because I feel like when I bake up there, it just kind of makes it, I don't know, it just makes it look a little cakey. So I'm just going to just simply set it and 
not do the full baking process. Okay, so my thoughts on this stuff is I agree with every other makeup artist. It is $12 because the packaging is horrible. But as far as the product, I really like it. So I'm just going to wipe it away. And yeah, I really like it. It's very translucent, which is great because I hate when there's a lot of white left on there. I think this will definitely be my new winter baking product So yeah, as you can see, this is definitely a great product. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, I'm definitely going to buy her powder contour kit now because I think that they're probably very similar and people actually rave about that one more than they do this one. So if they're raving about that one, I think this one's pretty good. This that one must really, 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 really be good. So please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like it. And as always, thanks for watching.